it's very slowly like she's stalking so as soon as we can get a visual of that leopard we will bring it back to you but james has returned at the site of a massacre so let's go have a look hello everybody my name's nigel the nyala unfortunately i had a very bad time the other day I was set upon by Tingana the male leopard, and he killed me. He, 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 he sort of, he, he bit me there. And then, I was stolen from Tingana by two male lions, and a female lion as well. Lioness, I think you call them in English. And, I'm sorry, I can't keep it going anymore. Anyway, this is Nyala that was eaten. It was killed by Tingana, and then it was eaten by the two male lions that came on the Birminghams, and there was a female with them, and she got almost nothing of it at all. So I think Tingana probably had a fairly decent meal, although he did kill a warthog the next day. And, um, well, this is all that's left, and we're going to try and take this thing with us and put it on the back of the car so that we can use it in the tent. Uh, this is going to be fairly disgusting. Good luck, Brian, with the smell. Mm. Um, I don't really want to touch it other than for the horns. I'm going to drape it over the top here. <laughs> if somebody else drives past us today, they are going to be so amazed. The tide has come in. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> I wish you could see this, everyone. And the smell, I'm going to have to be driving quite quickly now. <laughs> Thankfully, we have fireside chat fairly soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, God, that's, that's really horrid. If we do actually get to the hyena den, if we find the actual hyena den, we're on our way to the, to the Gallagher shortcut one. If we do actually get there, um, they're going to be attached to the back of the car very, very quickly. Maybe we should, no, we shouldn't have put it on the front because we are, we are going to be able to, um, we'll be able to drive fast enough to get away from the smell. Brian is now covering himself in a very substantial headdress uh, in order to <laughs> cover, cover his nose. Ah, marvellous. Thank you, Whitney. You say, who needs the walking dead when you have me? Well, yes, quite. Or that, and that Nyala. I must confess to you that I was messing around with it saying, you know, should we do a segment here? And Brian said, that looks amazing. It looks like it's talking. So it was actually his, it was actually his idea. It was also his idea to put it on the car, which I think is very good. Now I've got to pick it clean. So it has been picked clean by the vultures. Very little meat left on it. There's enough to make it smell like the bowels of Satan himself. But what we will do is try and boil it. Brian reckons we have a pot large enough for that thing. He's wrong. But we will definitely put it in some kind of a, either water. We'll probably bury it, actually. We'll probably bury it and let the ants have a go at it. And I think the landowner actually has a special thing that he uses to clean off bones. And then we'll use it later on in our little tent for the TV specials. Is that what's really nice about it, and you don't find this often, is that the spinal column is fully intact, which is interesting. And it also indicates to me that the hyenas are not around here, because I think they would have come and taken it to pieces. Anyway, this is the old Gallagher shortcut den. We'll drive in here and have a quick look. The sun has come out. The light is wonderful. Naturally, the elephants have been in here and have, uh, well... They've made a bit of a mess, haven't they, Brian? This is quite a nasty uh, piece of bush. Mm. Yes, you don't want that in your eye. Uh, you'll leave your eye behind on it. All right, Brian. Mm -hmm. Is our friend still with us? <laughs> Brian says it smells like really bad dog's breath. That's a really good way of putting it. Yes, if there are hyenas here, they're going to perk up immediately. No, I don't think they're here either. 